Hi, you I will show you how can you get started with the OpenAI APIs in Python. So in order to start, first of all, you need to open this URL, which is openai.com. And once you are on this URL, you can click on the API. Here you can see that you need to log in here. So I will quickly go ahead and log in first. So you can use your email ID, whichever you want to go for. And just give it a few seconds. Okay, so I'm logged in now. And here you can see uh, there are four tabs on top. So the first one is overview, which will tell you like what all things it can do. Second thing is the most in interesting one, which is documentation. So it will give you a very nice documentation, very descriptive documentation, which will walk you through what all things it can do. It will tell you what are the prompts, what are the completions, tokens, and what are the possible models. So let me quickly go here and show you. So these are the three different models as of now they have. And this GPT-3 has uh, base models also which we will uh, see in a while. So here you can see that this is GPT-3 is particularly uh, a model, like trained model with a huge real world data and it interacts with in a natural language form. Coming on to the codex, codex is mainly to generate the code based on the na natural language, what user is talking or what user is speaking. So just with one line description, it is capable of generating the code for you. Next one is the content filter, which will help you to extract and detect the sensitive information from your content. So these are the three things. And again, like I said, GPT-3 has the three to four base models here, which you can see. So we can go through all these and figure it out which one works for you. Next thing I want to show is the quick start tutorial. So in this quick start tutorial, it will just give you a basic idea like what is prompt and what is completion. So these are the things which you can do over here there are various settings like what is temperature so these are the things which you can definitely go and read over here next thing is like a build an application so they have already created uh, some samples for you so you can go to this particular github url and clone the repository and get started with it it is also telling you how you can run your application so this is what uh, you may be interested in Next thing I want to show you is, let me quickly scroll down. On the left hand side, you can see the API reference. So this is the most important thing which we are interested in. So if you will click on this introduction, it will tell you like, how can you get started with it? So if you are going with Python, first of all, you need to go ahead and install this OpenAI package, which you can do it using pip install OpenAI. And similarly, npm install OpenAI for Node.js. So once this is done, you need next thing you need is the authentication key. So I will quickly tell you where it is. But this is like you can have a look how to make a call to an API or what all things you need to import in order to get this thing working. And on the left hand side, you will also get uh, information about models, what you can do with your images. So these are the various things or the post API calls you can make it. And the interesting thing you can see on the right hand side is let's say if you want to make a call post call. So this is how it will look like this is your code should look like so it is basically giving you rough idea of what you need to write and what are the parameters and what is the response what kind of response you will get out of it. So this could be another good read for you. Now if I will show you you can see here there are some examples so these are the various things they have implemented so you can even browse this and coming on to the playground so playground is where you can before writing the code you can just play around it and see how it generates the responses so here it uh, it is given write a tagline for an ice cream shop so you can write anything right or you can say uh, give me three names for baby girl so as soon as you are done with this on the right hand side you can choose what all parameters you want so this 003 model is the later like the most uh, optimistic i would say the accurate model over here so you can check with this if you are dealing with the coding then you need to uh, select these co codex models so right now we will go with 
the GPT one. So on the bottom, you can click on submit and it will show you the output in a while. So you can see that these are the three names which are suggested. Now we have not given any criteria or parameter like uh, names should be from which country or how long the name should be or what is the starting letter of any name. So we haven't not given any such thing. So that's why it has given just three names based on its own analysis and the model. Now what if uh, no, you if you are convinced with this playground, the next thing is to go ahead and implement in our own application. So to get this started, you can see the uh, there is a button view code. Click on this button and here you can see how nicely it has generated the code for this. So we can quickly grab this code. I will copy it and one more thing on the same screen you can see is you can even go with Python, Node.js, curl or JSON. So these are the four things you can generate it from here. So right now I will go here and copy this particular thing. So let me switch on to my VS code and I'm going to copy this thing here. Okay, so let's change it to something else. Uh, get me a tagline for power shop. So let's try with this one and I'm going to reduce number of tokens to let's say two rest all things we can leave as it is and here comes the open AI key how to generate this open AI key so for that you can click on this particular so there are various ways to get to this particular key but this is the most easiest way I would say so here you can say a hyperlink your API key can be found here so let me quickly show you here so if you are doing it for the very first time you need to generate one key so this is how it looks like so I will create a new key so that we can see let me copy this one and paste it over here so I'm not setting it in environment variable as of now let's directly give it and on this screen you can see that you can generate as many keys as you want and you need to just select your default organization so once this is done you can go and quickly run this it will take few seconds and then we should get our response okay so I have not printed it let me go ahead and print this response here so we'll we can see what is happening okay so the response is here and here you can see all the details so the very first thing here it is showing you is the length and the index and it is not giving you any text it may be because we have not uh, provided the accurate number of tokens let me quickly grab the tokens let's say i'm giving 320 and let's run it again so now you can see that when i increase the maximum number of tokens i got the output and this is what the tagline it is returning so a cut about the rest so this is the output which you can see and these all are the parameters which we have taken or what are the prompt tokens and all these but overall idea what I'm trying to say is if you are going with this API there is like a lot of documentation available and it is like you can go and make some cool samples and if you find that it's really useful for you definitely you can go ahead and integrate in your application there are various use cases which you can do so many examples it has so here you can see you can even write classification models SQL translation you can do you can calculate time complexity text to command so there are like so many things which you can do so I hope you got an idea how to get started with this API and if you really like this video make sure to give thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe this channel thanks for watching